I am XIT, you know that means I am not required to read any instructions whatsoever. Alright, let's get a little more Christmas in the opening of this video. It is the holiday season. Welcome to today's video. I actually bought and set up my very first label printer to be used with eBay primarily. Uh, I was against label printers for the longest time, thinking that I was doing just fine with my laser printer, my paper, my cheap toner. Um, I still think I'd be okay, but after setting this up and trying it out, uh, I'm kind of sold on thermal laser or thermal label printers. And I think a lot of people feel that way too after they uh, get their set up. So uh, I'm gonna show you the setup process. I'm hooking this one up to my Mac, but I also will be using it with other computers as well. And I do screw up in today's video. And I will show you what I think will be a very common mistake that people will make when they're setting this up with eBay and how simple it is to fix. So let me go ahead and roll film. So generally, if I were to print out my label, this is an actual label I printed a second copy of, uh, just crossed out the buyer's information. Uh, I would take a sheet of paper, print out on my regular laser printer. I'm sure a lot of you who do the same thing are familiar with this. I'll cut it in half because I will use that second sheet and then of course we're just going to use scotch tape and we're going to tape on the four sides now i will also take this extra half a sheet and as you can see i will leave it in my front slot or if i have a lot of these i'll stack them up and eventually i'll just swap out the paper that's in the tray with just these sheets and you can actually still see the $5 price sticker on this one laser printer that I got. This one was wireless, so it's been serving me very well. And I actually have a second one of these I got for another $5, as well as some other color laser printers that I've paid less than $10 for a Goodwill. So I just kind of had a collection of printers. And for me, I was always under the theory that if you had a pack of 500 sheets of paper and you could get two labels out of each, that's going to be a thousand labels you can print from like a $6 pack of paper. And toner for those has always been for me about 20 bucks off of Amazon for two cartridges of a third party generic one. And here was just an example of how a half sheet would look. Same thing, cut it and tape it. So now I finally bit the bullet. And went with a label printer. Now I had not heard of Logia or Logia prior to this. It had decent reviews on Amazon and it was on sale around Black Friday for about 130 bucks total with 100 labels and a paper stand. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and set it up. We're actually gonna set it up on my Mac, although this isn't gonna be the main computer it's gonna be used on. The one thing about this is it's not wireless like my laser printer is, so I do have to actually set it up and attach it to the back of the computer. But we're gonna go ahead and test it out, give it a little bit of a review, and start printing some actual labels we gotta ship out. So the first thing the small box has is came with a hundred labels. So um, we're probably going to use about a quarter of those between testing and actual shipping today. So if it's good, we're going to immediately put in an order for more. And I guess these are the instructions. It came with a well, it came with a stand to build to hold the paper. So we'll address that momentarily. Let's get to the actual printer. All right, typical contents, we got some instructions, we got a power cord, we got a USB cable, and then cross that over there. <laughs> there is the actual printer, nice and small. So the reason why I wanted to do this was more for the desktop space, because printing those labels out for me, uh, to, between the printing and the cutting and taping, takes me about 30 to 45 seconds. So it's never been a huge crisis uh, for me to do it that way. So well, let's go ahead and unpack this. And because I am XIT, you know that means I am not required to read any instructions whatsoever. I'm just gonna hook it up and figure it out. All right, so it's gonna set this here for right now. It won't be its final home. Get some power hooked up to it. it Notice on top it says right here, download the driver at logiaprinter.com. So yeah, there's no software in the box and I'm gonna guess it's not plug and play, meaning Windows or Mac are not going to uh, automatically detect it as they do on many common brands like HP, 
Canon Epson brother. Plus you might need the drivers for some specific settings to appear in the computer. So we will actually do that portion of it. Just gonna plug this in really quick. Maybe you're like me and you're never really sold on needing a laser printer, maybe, or a label printer. Maybe it's gonna change your life. We'll see. So I put the USB in and All right, and power switch on the back. Fire in the hole. Oh, and there we go. I guess this is the self-test information that was already in there. What do we got? So, software version interface USB. Kind of want to give you the model number. I'll have to get it's beeping. That could mean something. Yep, there you go. Check the you know, check the manual. Flashing three beeps means out of paper. Now it's kind of interesting. It's going to do that continually. Um, but hey, you know, good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and get the driver for this and properly install it. Here's a big IT tip. If you type something in the proper way, it makes it easier to access the website. All right, going to click Manuals and Download here. And Drivers for Mac OS, although we'll need both eventually because I use every single kind of computer there is. Chromebooks, Mac, MacBooks, Windows PC, Linux. All right, nobody, nobody look at the secret password. All right, pretty simple. Out of curiosity, let's see if it shows up on our list of printers. Not yet, let's turn it back on so it detects it. No, oh, there we go. So there we go, it's all set up. That's basically all it took to get it connected to the computer. Let's go ahead and put together the paper stand that this came with. Um, definitely like Ikea level directions here. I'm gonna go ahead and build this really quick. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, and for the most part, that's it. The back just had a little bit of a groove. The back piece has to slide into uh, to lock in, so that took me a second. And I guess this is um, some kind of form feed. This is rather big. This is, <laughs> the paper holder is uh, bigger than the printer itself, if you look size-wise. So, interesting. Okay, and then we have our pack of labels. And looks like they are form feed. So, what is the proper way? Is the paper obviously sits in here. And does it just feed over the top? Okay, kind of hard to do this with one hand, forgive me. Let's just put that there, put that there. And it kind of has a seat at the bottom too. Give me one second, I'm gonna double check some pictures online and see uh, how others have set this up. Okay, so I wasn't able to find any pictures online of this actually being set up. So I've decided to go with an executive decision. This is how I'm going to do it because it seemed to work. So I removed it really quick just to show you. We are going to feed it into the back. Turn it on. Let's make sure it's seated in there. Okay, paper is lined up. Looks like it's actually ready for a print. All right, so let me go ahead and actually get something off of eBay that we need to ship. Here we have the game. I already weighed it. This is about 5.4 ounces, so this is gonna be a six ounce package. Put that aside for right now. All right, so I am going to go into Hubats and search for the listing. Godzilla, there it is, PS2, Godzilla Unleashed. Let's go ahead and sell that and I will punch in the pertinent information. All right, now we'll go ahead and get our actual shipping cost to print the label, six ounces. I'm gonna go for $3.77, purchase that, enter that information into Hubats as well, so we can save our sale. I'm actually curious, what did that one net us here? 
Godzilla Unleash got a net sales of $23.26. That's pretty nice. I'm going to print it to our Logia printer. All right. Um, I have not changed any other settings. Paper size seems to have selected itself. We're just going to roll with the default and see what happens and keep our fingers crossed. Okay, and as we can tell, the first thing we have to do is go ahead and change the direction of the labels because it's trying to print the long way. All right, so off camera, I took about 10 minutes to look this up. And actually, this is why I like doing things as realistic as possible. Um, I screwed up on something. There was actually a setting in eBay that you need to change the label size at the time of printing the label. So I now have this label locked in at an 8.5 by 11 size printing uh, page. So I'm going to go ahead and print that label on my old printer, get that one packaged up, grab a different game, and we're going to go ahead and do it again. Now I believe I understand the correct way to do this. All right, so we're going to go with this game that sold the Call of Duty for the PlayStation Vita. It's got another small package, so we'll grab another small envelope. This definitely weighs less than four ounces, so that's what this is going to be. And this is where I made the mistake. We're looking at the shipping for the PlayStation game. Let me just move the customer's address away. Okay, check it out. You see right down here where it says print format? Try and zoom in there for you. Uh, that's what my default was. That's what I've been printing on for all these years. So you have to go in at least the first label you do with your new label printer. Do change and switch it to 4x6. And that will give you the proper size label. And now if you look at the screen, you can see the whole layout is completely different. You have almost like a full-size picture there. It shows the Logia printer in the upper right. I am going to go ahead and click print. And there we go. One completely proper size label. And of course, by doing it with this, as opposed to having to cut it and tape everything, all I have to do is just peel off the backing. And again, keeping customer's address blocked. I want to be professional for everybody involved. I mean, it doesn't save me a lot of time in my mind, but you know what? It's ease of just peeling it off. No cutting, no tape, less steps I have to do. I guess for lack of a better phrase, this makes it more pleasurable to print out labels. So that's definitely something I like about this. All right, so let me sit here for a sec and give you my final review of this guy. Um, I definitely like it. Um, to me, it's a luxury right now, but it's nice to have it as I do plan on bringing on at least one employee into the business next year. Um, it makes it easier for them. They'll be doing a lot of the shipping, I hope. And that way, um, I don't got to worry about bad tape jobs, cutting things up. There's one less step that they or I have to take to get the packages out the door. Um, I like the size. Uh, this is what it is, I guess. It's nice that they give you a tray. It's rather large. Um, definitely when I have more than just 100 labels in there, that would be safer because knowing me being a klutz, I'll just knock it off and all that paper will go everywhere. Uh, one thing I did notice too, it does look like from my work on, uh, my testing on feeding this, if you were to actually have a single sheet, you could feed it into the back yourself. So if you have extra labels that form feed for some reason and get torn off, they don't get wasted, which is nice. Um, and obviously it's, it's fast and quiet. I'll put a link down below. I don't have an affiliate set up with Amazon or anything. I did look prior to this video. It's back to going for $199 today. Um, I think the current bundle they have for that includes some labels and actually I think a scale. Uh, I'm recording this on December 6th, so um, when you look at it, it could be completely different, but I think it's good. I actually like it. Um, so far, no issues. I have a lot of shipping to do from this weekend so far. Uh, actually, not sure when this is coming out in context to my other videos, but I did some work yesterday, busted my tuchus, um, had about 15 sales overnight and into this morning, all mostly things that I listed uh, just yesterday afternoon. So uh, that'll be the next video coming up. We'll be featuring this guy, I'm sure, printing in there. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, any questions on this printer or shipping in general, 
Feel free to leave me a comment below if you enjoy the video. You know the routine. Please subscribe to be notified when new stuff comes out and give this video a thumbs up. So I talk to you next time, guys. We're getting closer to Christmas. Keep those sales going. Keep that holiday cheer up, whatever holiday that might just be. Even if you're just celebrating the fact that it's another day. Stay tuned, stay positive, keep hustling, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.